It's not a secret that California has been having a lot of financial troubles lately, but California Treasurer Bill Lockyer is wondering whether investment banks, including J.P. Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs, are unfairly profiting off of those problems. Mr. Lockyer joins us now from Sacramento. Uh, and, and Mr. Lockyer is not only unfairly profiting on them, but uh, the concern also is that they're putting pressure on your bond sales, right, and making them more expensive. Uh, what, what are your main concerns as, as to these banks? Well, the, the question is, and these are banks that we work with regularly in order to market our bonds. Uh, we're a major issuer because we're making massive investments in infrastructure in California and university and transportation systems and so on. So uh, bonds uh, were in the market regularly to sell. If someone is out uh, concurrently marketing risk, claiming that there's some risk associated with these issues, I don't know to what extent it affects investor perceptions and nervousness that uh, might uh, cause yields to increase. So that's the question. We don't have any, we're not making allegations. We don't have any settled view about this. But as someone that wants the best deal possible for California taxpayers, we want to get uh, the information necessary to analyze this. And of course, it seems like it could be uh, an issue if the banks that are helping you sell this debt are also selling the swaps. You've written to six of these banks, Bank America, Merrill Lynch, uh, Barclays, City, Goldman, which, which we mentioned, uh, JP, which you mentioned as well, and, and Morgan Stanley. Have you heard anything back from any of them? Uh, well, uh, some informal calls to just say, yes, we'll uh, provide you the information as quickly as we can that you've requested, and I expect they'll be cooperative. Are you concerned about the sale of debt? I mean, the, the whole spotlight on Greece has kind of uh, done its part to sort of shift the spotlight across the pond and focus on the, the, the state of the U.S. states here. Obviously, California has some serious, some of the most serious budget issues in the country. Are you concerned about debt sales? Well, I'm concerned in the sense that uh, what we pay for our issues, and it is uh, interesting that there's this Greece analogy that's uh, uh, around, which is, I think, far too apocalyptic for the facts. Our annual state budget deficit is less than 1% of our GDP. Greece is about 13%. Uh, our uh, accumulated uh, debt uh, that's... Uh, been sold and we're paying off now is about 4.3 percent of our GDP. Greece, I believe, is 109 percent and Japan is 212 percent. So as sovereign entities go, and this is the eighth largest economy on the planet, uh, our debt is rather modest. So it seems to be an unfair comparison that creates uh, doubts with investors. But of course, states aren't supposed to have budget deficits. And uh, you mentioned it's only 1 percent of GDP, but that's pretty big since it would be the eighth largest economy in the world if California were a sovereign state. I mean, what can the state do to close that budget deficit and how long will it take? Sure. Well, it's about 15 or it's about 16 billion that needs to be resolved through uh, continuing of temporary tax increases or spending cuts. Those are the two principal options. All right. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. California Treasurer Bill Lockyer joining us there at fairly short notice and we appreciate that. Now,